Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at how to make a professional button in Adobe Photoshop CS3. For this tutorial, we're going to model our button off the one found on apple.com forward slash iLife. First step is to select the rounded rectangle tool, put a radius of 15 pixels plus or minus 5, it doesn't really matter, it depends on what kind of button you're making, but for this we'll make it 15. Click the color picker and we'll select a color on the bottom half of this button. So just click that we get 8D, 8D, 8D. Select OK and make sure we have the rounded rectangle tool selected and we'll draw our rectangle. Alright, that looks about good. Now the first step is we'll go into blending options and we'll create an outer glow. Now we'll make this normal blend mode. Um, we'll make it 100% opacity. Uh, for the color, we'll just select the color of the shape and we'll go a few shades darker. So for mine, I'm choosing 575757. Five, five, uh, we'll click OK. Uh, we don't want this to be so uh, so big, so we'll reduce the size to about yeah three pixels looks about right. Um, secondly, we'll go to the drop shadow, and we'll make this first off ninety degrees, so it's straight up and down instead of slanted. And we'll make this uh, normal blend mode. Um, we'll go back and select that color again, the shapes color, and we'll make this a little smaller, and we'll reduce the distance from the button, move it up a little bit, so we'll make that about two pixels, I'll say. Uh, now we need to go to the inner shadow, and we'll go to the soft light blend mode. Uh, we'll make it white. Click OK there. Uh, we just want it to be one pixel away. So we'll click one. And for the size, we want it to be zero. And so you can start to see it taking shape. Looks just about the same as the uh, as Apple's version. Um, so that looks good for there. We'll click OK. Now we need to get a little gradient overlay over this to make it, I don't want to say shiny, but a little better looking. Um, click the new layer tool. Uh, command or control click the thumbnail of the shape. Select the gradient tool. Make our foreground color white. Make sure our gradient selected is foreground to transparent. And we'll start about here, I'll say. Click your, click your mouse and then hold the shift key and just drag down on it. And let go when you're a little bit below the button. And we can go back to the marquee tool, which you can just click M. And we'll deselect that. And it's looking just about the same as the as Apple's version. Now we just need some text there. So... Go to the text tool, and we'll just type in upgrade now. All right, now I already have this pre-selected to Apple's font and everything, but we'll go over that. It's Myriad Pro, regular, 12 point, and I have it on sharp for the anti-aliasing. And so I think this actually might be 11 point font, so... I guess it was actually 12. It was right the first time. Alright. So we'll just center that in there. We'll go to the move tool. And that looks about good. For buttons, using the align tools doesn't always work out the best. It's usually pretty easy to align the text yourself. And now we just need to make a uh, make it look a little more inset into the button. 
So this is kind of tricky. You can do it a bunch of different ways, but for this I'm just going to create a new layer. Upgrade now copy sounds good to me. Click OK. And we want this to be below the first upgrade now layer, so note the order of the layers. And so we'll go into the blending options for this. Go to color overlay. And that red's not looking so hot, so I'm gonna select a new color. Guess make it a little bit darker. 5D, 5D, 5D is what I have. And we'll click OK there. And that's good. Now we just need to move the text that's beneath the upgrade now layer, the upgrade now copy. We need to move that one pixel lower. So make sure that your move tool is selected. You can press V to get that for a keyboard shortcut. And we'll just move it down one or we can move it up one. In Apple's case, they have it up one. So this is looking a little bit darker than theirs. So, And if you want, you can move it even left. Like here, I'll show you. You move it left, right, down left, down right. You can just mess around with it, but for this, we'll just move it up one pixel from the upgrade now layer. And we'll go back into blending options and change the color of that. It looks a little bit dark. Alright, now that looks good. And that pretty much concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please post them at tootspot.com. Thanks for watching.